Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Explorer. How to evaluate and find the value of this beautiful math problem, which is at raise to power 7 minus at raise to power 6 minus at raise to power 5. How can we solve this math problem? Here we can solve this math problem using two different ways. The one is what does mean this number at raise to power 7? It means that we have to multiply 8 7 times. So I think multiplying 8 7 times it will be a little bit difficult. So here we, we can use another method that is to change all of these bases add to its exponential form having 2 in the base. That's multiplying that number of time which is the power is very simple. So here we will change all the bases to exponential form having 2 in the base. So therefore we can write this 2 is this add as 2 raised to power 3 or raised to power 7 minus 8 is 2 raised to power 3 or raised to power 6 minus 8 is 2 raised to power 3 or raised to power 5. Now here in all the terms we will use an exponential math property and we will multiply the powers with each other. So here we will use this one exponential math property in all the terms of this number raised to power m or raised to power n which can also be written as raised to power m times n. Now using this exponential math property here this equation this number will become imply this will become 2 raised to power we will multiply the power so 3 times 7 is 21 so this will become 2 raised to power 21 minus this will become 2 raised to power 3 times 6 is 18 minus this will become 3 times 5 is 15 so this will become 2 raised to power 15. Now my dear is looking to the power of this base which is 15. So here we will try to make this power in these two terms as well. So for that we will do some changes in these two powers. So therefore we can write these two powers as we can write 21 as the sum of 6 plus 15 minus 2 raised to power 18. 18 can be written as the sum of 3 plus 15 minus 2 raised to power 15 will be the same. Now here in these two terms we will use another exponential identity r raised to power m plus n to split these powers over base 2. So here we will use this one exponential identity r raised to power m plus n which can also be written as r raised to power m times r raised to power n. Now using this exponential identity here this number will become implies this will become 2 raised to power 6 times 2 raised to power 15 minus this will become 2 raised to power 3 times 2 raised to power 15 minus 2 raised to power 15. Number just look at to all the terms here 2 raised to power 15 common. So we will take it common from all the terms. So this will become taking 2 raised to power 15 common. So here 2 raised to power 6 is left minus here 2 raised to power 3 is left minus and here we can multiply 1 with any number. So here only 1 is left. And we have to simplify these powers and these numbers. So therefore we can write 2 raised to power 15 as the sum of 15 is 5 plus 10 times what is the value of 2 raised to power 6? 2 raised to power 6 means we need to multiply to 6 times. So 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 16 times 2 is 32 and 32 times 2 is 64. So the value of 2 raised to power 6 is 64. So this will become 64 minus 2 raised to power 3 is 8 minus 1. So let's simplify these numbers further. Here in this one number we will use this one exponential identity and we will split the powers over 2. So this will become 2 raised to power 5 times 2 raised to power 10 times and here this is 64 and minus 8 minus 1 gives him minus 9. So further here we will substitute the value of 2 raised to power 5. So 
multiplying to 5 times we will get 32 times and here the value of 2 raised to power 10 which means you have to multiply to 10 times so it gives him 1024 which is a very famous number and we mostly use it in our videos times and here 64 minus 9 gives him about 55 and here we will try to multiply these three numbers without using a calculator and without rough work so how can we multiply these three numbers easily so part at first we multiply these two numbers and we will leave this number the same so 32 will be the same times and here we can write these two numbers as the first number will be the same times and we can write this 55 as the sum of 50 plus 5 now we can easily multiply this 1024 with these two digits these two numbers so this will become 32 will be the same and here first we will multiply 1024 with 50 so 1024 times 0 is 0 and 1024 times 5 is 5 times 4 is 20 0 2 will be carried 5 times 2 is 10 10 plus 2 is 12 2 1 will be carried 5 times 0 is 0 0 plus 1 is 1 5 times 1 is 5 so this gives him 51,200 plus we multiply 1024 with 5 so 5 times 4 is 20 0 2 will be carried 5 times 2 is 10 10 plus 2 is 12 2 1 is carried 5 times 0 is 0 0 plus 1 is 1 5 times 1 is 5 so this gives him 5,120 now we will add these two numbers so this will become 32 times 0 plus 0 is 0 2 plus 0 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, 5 plus 1 is 6, and 5. So the addition of these two numbers gives him 56,320. Now we will try to multiply these two numbers. So again for that, we will change this number to the sum of place value of each digit in this number. So this will become 32 times. Here we can write this number as the place value of 5 is 50,000 plus the place value of 6 is 6,000 the place value of 3 is 300 plus the place value of 2 is 20 and the place value of 0 is 0 so this will remain 0 now again you multiply this 32 with these four numbers separately so first we multiply 32 with 50,000 so this will become 32 times 0 is 0, 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 and 32 times 5 is 5 times 2 is 10, 0 1 will be carried, 5 times 3 is 15, 15 plus 1 is 16, so this gives him 16. So it is 1,600,000 plus, then we multiply 32 with 6,000. So again 32 times 0 is 0, 32 times 0 is 0, 32 times 0 is 0, 32 times 6 is 6 times 2 is 12, so 2 1 will be carried, 6 times 3 is 18, 18 plus 1 is 19, so this is 192,000 plus, now we multiply 32 with 300, so this will become 32 times 0 is 0, 32 times 0 is 0, and 32 times 3 is 3 times 2 is 6 and 3 times 3 is 9 so this gives him 9600 plus now multiply 32 with 20 so 32 times 0 is 0 and 32 times 2 is about 64 so this is 640 now finally we will try to add all of these four numbers now to add all of these four numbers we will start from the ones position so let's start from the ones position and add these four numbers. So 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. Now let us add the digits at 10 position. So 4 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 4. Now 6 plus 6 is 12. 12 plus 0 plus 0 is 12. So 2, 1 will be carried to the next digit. Next is 9. 9 plus 1 is 10. 10 plus 2 is 12, 12 plus 0 is 12, so this will become 2, 1 will be carried to the next digit, again next digit is 9, 9 plus 1 is 10, 10 plus 0 is 10, so 0, 1 will be carried to this one digit, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 6 is 
add and here is only one so finally the addition of this phone number goes in 1,802,240 so this is the addition of this phone number goes in 1,802,240 802,240 is our answer and value of this beautiful math problem.